Hi guys, welcome to Moi Technical Tutorials. My name is Mohit Gupta, and today again I came with a very interesting next video of our playlist Center Dogma of Life. In this playlist, in the set of list means in the set of videos, we are going to talk about the whole process of Center Dogma of Life. This whole process comprises of very much variations. Right? Variations in the means of processes. There is not yet a single process working over there. There are many subjects, but they work together, they comprise central dogma of life. We'll talk about cell biology, molecular biology, genetics, and even though we'll talk about some more subjects that are far away from the biology, that is physics, basic physics. Now, why I want to talk about physics? Because according to physics, everything is going inside our body or outside our body, physical or internal. Anything is, uh, if anything is happening with us, that is due to physics, basic physics, right? And with physics, we are going to add much some chemistry over there because once we are going to start a topic like central dogma, we must know that. There are several enzymes working over here and if you want to learn enzymes, if you want to learn nucleotide nucleoside base pairs, how they contact with each other and how helicases, uh, hexameric, uh, we can say ring shaped enzyme, how it breaks the two strands into one single strand. We need to see that all things to understand what is the process of central dogma. You may see here a brief content of the cell. I have made and some more organelles I'm going to uh, introduce to you now only and why I'm introducing these are organelles because these are organelles are play, play major role not minor major role in the central dogma of life not in the process of the process but some ways it, they are helping as workers over there and the king who is the king over here in my last video I have already explained this thing that the king over here is the deoxyribonucleotide DNA who is uh, being double helical uh, ladder type of structure in the nucleus. Now let's talk about certainly that what kind of uh, working criteria or what kind of procedure do uh, this process uh, allow to be happen, right? Let's see. Okay. So DNA is in the nucleus. Now physics, yeah. Let me introduce some Newton's law, the three Newton's law very firstly and work principle because we need to apply that law over here and we need to do magic over here because if we solely if we study biology, it will be somewhat unfulfilled to study means uh, uh, it, it will be unfair if we ignore physics or chemistry because these are also branches of what? These are also branches of uh, science we can say and we are understanding science so we will study each and every subject quite equally right so physics Newton first law Newton's first law Newton said that if anything is in rest it will be in rest anything is in motion then it will be in motion up till up till when the external force is not applied to it it will not stop or it will not move this is law of inertia and that's its own inertia inbuilt capability or to be at rest or to be in a motion this is Newton first law Newton first law will be applicable over here each and every time we will see how second thing we will apply Newton second law Newton said that for every acceleration there must be an equal and constant force working on the body that's why the, the, that's why the body will accelerate or body will uh, we can say displace from its place so for a, every acceleration for every displacement there must be a quite form a quite force working over there a component of force working over there whose uh, whose uh, we can say normal or reaction cannot uh, we can say cancel it that much amount of force should be there. We will come to third law, then you will know about Newton's third law, the action reaction pair. Now, let's see what in the third law, what Newton said. Newton said in the third law that all bodies comprises of two forces 
One is action and one is reaction, right? When we apply any action forces on anybody, it solely reacts to that force. If the force which we apply to it is greater than the reaction force of the body, it's greater than its inertia. Inertia is the reaction. It's greater than its inertia, then the body cannot resist it and body with, uh, per, um, start moving. Right? This is Newton's third law. Now, three laws are very beneficial over here. Uh, we will apply all the three law, laws over here and we will apply certain word chemistry. Now, work. Yeah. One more uh, propaganda. Work and energy should be here. Work is equal to energy. The total amount of kinetic energy, potential energy is equal to work over here. Right? So, why work? Because here the work is positive or negative. We need to know that. Because we need to know each and every consequence of each and every, we can say, uh, working in the cell. So, so we are merging what? Chemistry, physics and biology. Let's start now. Our DNA is the king of the nucleus. <clears throat> it's in the nucleus, uh, very far away from, uh, we can say, our childhood. Every cell is being uh, developed uh, a bit of this day. It, it is developing and it is dividing, right? Mitosis, meiosis. Meiosis is reproductive cycle, mitosis is somatic cycle. Under somatic cycle, under when somatic cycle, it is dividing. Cells are dividing 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 2 to uh, 4 to 60. So, like this, every time cell is dividing in the, in, in, in the 2 to the power n form, right? We are talking about central dogma. Central dogma solely comprises of two processes replication. Not replication, sorry. Replication is the process that central dogma doesn't require. Replication is the process that the cell requires to survive. If the cell wants its component to be, uh, we can say, inherited to another cell, then it will be, uh, it, it will be very complicated, but it will be very necessary for the DNA to get separated into two strands, then Furthermore, Okazaki fragments and many more fragments they, uh, they, they used to design over there and they create two, uh, we can say, uh, daughter strands and when the daughter strands combine with each other, what they will do? They will uh, straight away replicate and uh, cell will replicate. So this is a whole platform of the single cell we can see over here. Only single cell I have designed over here. A Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria and nucleus let's talk about what uh, all this uh, process is going on here uh, in a uh, brief let's see okay so what we see here is that dna now dna needs to be replicated in order to maintain its identity in each and every cell replication process is underwent by certain enzymes. Enzymes name I am not going to tell in this video because this video is going to be a re uh, precap. We can say uh, I, I, I am going to give a preface to you this time. And next video we will go, go in somewhat details in these processes. So uh, somewhat enzymes are working over here. Enzymes are working over here, and these enzymes are solely made for uh, DNA to replicate, and we can say. DNA to replicate and translation, transcription. These enzymes are solely made for that. Let me make, make some enzymes like this. Okay. So these are somewhat enzymes. Uh, let's straight away come to not to the replication. Because replication is the what process. We need to uh, make a video and we need to explain it in the term of uh, mitosis, meiosis. So we, we don't want to uh, uh, waste our this video in that process that will be solely for replication video. Next video will be, right? So this video will be completely, completely utilized in understanding the cellular process during central dogma of life. Right. Let's see. If you see here, this is a ladder. This is a inbuilt ladder, guanine, cytosine, editing, thymine. Um, guanine with cytosine, there are three hydrogen bonds, and uh, adenine with thymine, there are two hydrogen bonds. Now, the further thing is that why do these two strands separate so easily without wasted of, of ATP? Uh, ATP is not wasted that much, not GTP, not ATP. Only a little form of ATP GTP is wasted in this process. Why? 
because our body needs energy if all ATP will be wasted over here then it will be a problem for body this is the first thing second thing is that the adenine to guanine nitrogen and oxygen they used to uh, share weak hydrostatic forces we can say like that electrostatic hydrostatic forces so they tend to make a bond that we can say hydrogen bonds they are, are formally joined by a hydrogen ion and this hydrogen ion can be easily break down into uh, and uh, this uh, two strands can easily be we can say nitrogenous bases can easily be separated due to this hydrogen bond where three hydrogen bond that also can easily be uh, we can say broke down uh, by uh, evaluating or by extracting the uh, H2O molecule or OH molecule from the uh, these two binding pair, right? So this is a uh, one of the type of understanding that why do helicases used to break down it into two strands? So this is basic chemistry over here. Uh, I have always nitrogen and oxygen share uh, somewhat weak electrostatic forces with uh, each other and they bind with each other into weak electrostatic forces that they can easily be broke down into simple ions. This is one thing, right? Let's go into the path view. Now, what I'm trying to say is that I'm not uh, 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 trying to share the process of replication in this video. I'm going to just give you a precap. Okay, so precap is that these enzymes work on DNA. DNA is a moist unit of several nucleotide and sugar bases that, that we all know. So this merge unit, unit is tend to be broken down and this merge unit is under work of certain enzymes. Enzyme tend to make certain covalent bonds over there, certain hydroxyl bonds over there uh, with the hydronium ion to be excluded and uh, um, extracting the H2O ion and what all things we see in enzyme kinetics, right? So it is a reversible reaction. So enzymes are working over here and they are creating a copy of DNA. Say this is the red, red one, this is the copy of DNA, right? But this copy is solely single standard and this is having certain modifications. If we tend to see this copy, this copy is having certain modifications. This do not contain an adenine base pair. This contain a uracil, uracil base pair. And due to this uracil base pair, lot of mutations are tend to be in this molecule due to the uracil base pair. Uracil base pair tend to be in the form of uric acid. If once it comes in contact of urea, then it will stay away, be, uh, we can say, mutated into some uh, else form, right? And if once it is mutated, it will stay away, the protein functioning will be distorted completely, protein folding, protein unfolding. Uh, this process is completely under mutation, but we are not considering any mutations over there. In genetics video that will come with uh, in a span of time, we will uh, talk about this topic in more detail. Now let's go through only this topic. Okay, once RNA is generated, this RNA is somewhat messenger RNA, a message by DNA to ribosomes to uh, work over there and ribosomes will uh, create proteins right right a ribosome will create proteins now this enzyme is tend to come out of cell but due to certain chemistry certain chemistry uh, chemical uh, molecules over nucleus that are supporting this molecule but this molecule can tend to not be supported out of the nucleus it will come out of the nucleus because we know that the somewhat fluid is filled in the nucleus and this fluid is supporting these ions these are all always negatively charged to let it to survive outside the nucleus also certain modifications uh, adenine polyadenine tails and guanine heads like this type of modification are being done in the rnas and once rna is modified it tend to take shape of somewhat bulges and you can say three dimensional shape and once it took three dimensional shape it will come out of cell in the form of transfer rna right so transfer RNA is a kind of RNA that is going to transfer the whole the uh, we can say phenomena whole the information of the DNA to what ribosome. Now where are ribosome in this sequence? We we tend to know this. Ribosome are sitting. Ribosome are sitting 
at the surface of endoplasmic reticulum over here what comes is endoplasmic reticulum this topic is very 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 vast so you need to be very concentrated to understand prefix only because else what i cannot tell now because that is a gigantic legal mass as, as i told you uh, last day in the last video that is just we can say a uh, full of trees with a hill in a hill there are many trees and we need to count each and every tree like just that those processes are replication transcription translation after that cell biology uh, somewhat modifications so these are process rna splicing these are process of merge together these are merged together and we need to see that we have to climb a hill to understand them but don't worry i am over here to help you right so here are the ribosomes this trna trna tend to come over here and join the company of ribosomes now why it will come and join the company of ribosomes say this is this is the trna this is the trna now this trna once join the company of uh, ribosome it will tend to be converted into proteins ribosome are having certain area right in it that is uh, we can say let's talk about that in more detail in later translation right acylation methylation and many more uh, we can say uh, modifications are going on in this trna further before joining ribosome for the protein synthesis right now once the once the rna join the company of a ribosome it will start working with it there will be one entry gate and there will be one exit gate in the ribosome right peptidyl transferase area acyl transferase area so there are two areas over here so it will straight away transfer the uh, rna furthermore in the exit gate towards so this is the entry this is the exit it is transferring and it is creating somewhat small small polypeptides so this is these are the polypeptides now polypeptides are once they are synthesized they are in the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum once they are synthesized they are in the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum now over here over here there are somewhat modifications going on in the protein structure because we know about the protein structure protein is firstly a uh, chain of amino acids that is primary structure then it uh, get to be tend to be coil 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 super coil 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 structure that is a secondary tertiary and quaternary structure they merge like a we can see ball type of structure they form and globular structure and once they are formed like a globular structure they need to tend to more modify an alpha beta seeds ramachandran plot that given by indian biochemist ramachandran you can study this in back mystery i will uh, tell you i'll explain if there's that topic also but uh, protein is solely topic of we, we will consider biochemistry also in this uh, this play set of playlist once protein is created in the lumen let me check once okay recording is going on okay so once protein is created in the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum this protein is will leave the endoplasmic reticulum in the means of vesicles now there will be small small bulges small small bulges from the we can say from the surface of this what endoplasmic reticulum there will be small small bulges small small bulges and this protein need to be transferred into these bulges these bulges and this once this protein is transferred into these bulges right we are, we are talking about how gigantic this topic is because we need to learn each and every organelle in detail and this process in detail so this is going to take very much time because we need to learn proteins and all those back chemistry also back chemistry so once this uh, protein is transferred into the black vesicles uh, it will sit away be transferred once it is modified then it will be transferred remember my one thing once it is modified because a, a endoplasmic reticulum is modification center of these uh, proteins once it is modified now vesicle start 
arrive from here say where they will go where they will go they will tend to go towards once ribosomes did their work they will tend to go towards the golgi apparatus golgi apparatus is somewhat police or we can say traffic police and these are small small trucks handling uh, carbohydrates proteins and all those things now let's move to some of atp synthesis before this process because this whole process needs some atp and atp is the major source of energy in the cell let's see so this uh, mitochondria these are containing oxisomes oxidative phosphorylation oxidative carboxylation so many more processes are going right glycolysis krebs cycles and once they will synthesize atp molecule from uh, water molecule and many more carbohydrate molecule many more are working over here so uh, that will be a separate video don't worry we will discuss this also once they created atp molecules now they need atp molecule to be transferred so this also transferation of atp molecule will be through the endoplasmic reticulum uh, uh, kind of vesicle this will also form and this will be uh, solely this will be closed vesicle and this will create a suction force and uh, take this atp to the endoplasmic so endoplasmic reticulum is somewhat the phase where uh, this is the industry where all the packaging is done of the materials it solely it is industry so it creates also it creates also some uh, modified uh, we can say modified uh, somewhat modification it does in the packaging also but once the uh, product is packaged product is packaged it will be straight away move to the golgi apparatus right it will straight away move to the golgi apparatus now once golgi apparatus golgi apparatus is having the protein molecule they will tend to check out that whether this molecule is having any problem or not so main cases are there very many cases are there when this golgi apparatus fail to check and they transfer protein from one cell this is uh, very 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 dangerous for the cell because once this police will not check the traffic is there any one who is not legal who should not go is any protein that is misfolded if it is going out of the cell then it is the mutation if it is going out of the cell then it is the mutation so whole responsibility is in the shoulders of golgi and golgi are not only single piece there are several golgi several endoplasmic reticulum so several thousands of the mitochondria working in, in the cell so these all these, these all things are working in together like a gigantic mass of working this uh, the central dogma Central dogma is supported by these all workers. This is the empire. This is the king's palace, and from here the order is going that create protein, and these all members are working over here creating proteins. Once this Golgi approved that yes, this is the correct protein form that should be transported from the one cell to another cell. Golgi will create somewhat vesicles, again vesicle. Now this is the particular protein that to be transported out of the cell now cell is containing a cell wall in plants and uh, uh, we can say plasma membrane a membrane so the hydrophobic hydrophilic membrane but containing certain proteins that will be that, that will be a good option for the cell to survive the proteins are intrinsic extrinsic proteins are containing porins porins are creating some water space and once it will uh, go from the pore out of the cell no need to uh, we can say no need for vesicles to be um, in the hydrophobic uh, hydrophobic hydrophilic area they need to stay away pass to the proteins over here because they are two protein 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 can uh, we can say they are having a cooperative manner of uh, understanding with each other so this is what is said but but but, but, but this is not the end of the process then let's apply the physics Newton's first law, inertia. These all organelles were having their inertia not to work. Who tend to let them work? DNA. Oh, and who let the DNA to let uh, to work? Right? DNA also is having a kind of inertia. He also doesn't want to work. These enzymes, these enzymes are the factors that facilitated DNA to work and to convert into what? Convert into uh, RNA. So first law of inertia is applicable over here. Second law of uh, second law of Newton that the force 
is equal to displacement or acceleration or any work is equal to force that is applied to externally to the body. Now, the force applied to this body is enzyme. And why enzyme work? Because enzyme also are getting some work, uh, forces from Okay, so enzyme are also getting some more forces from the external environment. They will force the DNA, DNA will apply the force and uh, the RNA, the signaling molecule will go outside. The signaling molecule will apply the force to the endoplasmic reticulum. Action reaction pairs are working over there uh, at the same time because the signaling molecule will produce action on the uh, organelles and organelles will produce reaction that will take certain ATPs. A ATP utilization is uh, very necessary for the protein foldings and once protein is folded it will go to the one to one one to one organelle each organelle is somewhat forced to do do this work now uh, newton's three law are applied over here as we have seen but the thing is the thing is that that is serious that what is the direction of work positive or negative positive work is doing on or negative so new newton uh, tend to say or the various scientists tend to say that if the force is in the direction of displacement, then it is positive work. Let's see. Force is applied for RNA to go out. RNA went out. Signaling molecule came to the ribosome, created protein. Force is applied to protein to come into vesicle. Done. Positive work. Again, two will go the apparatus. Again, positive work. Over here, again, positive work. So, work done by the cell in this condition is always positive. So this is some of the basic physics what I, I can apply over here. Okay guys, thank you. So support our channel. We are going to make a new playlist is of Central Dogma Applied. Really enjoy this playlist and I promise I will introduce something that no one has ever introduced to you ever. In the manner, in this manner. Right? So this was a previous video. We are coming to another video very soon. Thank you.